everyone, welcome to another edition of Cranking Out Crafts. My name is Puna, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these hats. Something like this. Um, it's a great accessory for Halloween. You can make your own thing, make it to go along with the costume, or just make it as your costume. Um, for the project, what you're going to need is a paper mache derby hat. So it looks just like this. It's brown, kind of bland. Um, you also need some tool, oh sorry, some tool and some lace. This is sparkle lace that we carry in our stores. And also you're going to need some embellishment, something to kind of throw on there. So for this one, I'm going to be using a really big spider. And spray paint or acrylic paint. Um, to get this nice even coverage on the hat for the color, I used spray paint. And all I did was just spray around the whole thing, make sure I got a good coat of it on there and let it dry. It didn't take very long to dry. And so this is going to be the base for my hat. Next, you're going to start adding on your like lace or tool and that kind of stuff that you want to whatever you want to put on your hat. I already started a little bit here and all you need to do is just I'm using a hot glue gun to glue pieces of this is the lace on here. So you can also the kind of neat thing that we like about these hats is that they do this. <laughs> you can do this with your lace and kind of drape it across so that you have something going on with your face too. It looks very nice usually. Um, and what you can do, how you can do that is same way I'm attaching my lace like this here. I'm going to put a dab of hot glue, scrunch up some lace and just hold in place until the hot glue has some chance to dry. Okay. And then you can do other little flourishes. I tend to just make poofies, a little poof here and there. So when you can get your lace positioned to the way that you want it, do another dab of glue and more lace. And then to go across, all you need to do is we're going to have this drape across and all you have to do is kind of give it a look and see maybe how you want it to look in the end and position your lace so that oops, my lace is getting twisted it falls the way that you want it to fall and then another dab of hot glue and hold the lace down over it. Later on, if you want to, you can always cover up these little dabs of hot glue so that you don't see them in the end. But, and then I'm gonna just cut, I like to kind of cut this at an angle so that it shears off in kind of a neat way and doesn't necessarily get right into your face. And then as a finishing touch, for this one, I'm going to add a spider. I think it's going to be fun. We're going to just the same thing, hot glue, really simple, onto the bottom of the spider and then right onto the hat where you want it to be positioned. I love these things with like the really big pieces because it really has like a eye grabbing focal point. So you can use things like this out of the Halloween section, like the spider or even ornaments like this. This peacock right here is an ornament. Um, it's a really big ornament, but I used that one. Or we also had some plastic skulls and that kind of thing. All I did here was just put some um, glue, some decoupage on it, and then glittered them. Just sprinkled them with glitter and let them dry. And they're attached. Also, these are pipe cleaners, if you didn't know that. These are pipe cleaners kind of twisted up just to give it a different look. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with these hats and just be creative and have fun with it. Thanks.